of the Cafe Clairvoyance Show. A very, very good evening to you. It is May the 23rd, uh, all day. <laughs> well, actually, I'd say good evening. For you, it could be good morning. To good someone time. else, it could be good afternoon. And somewhere else, it's probably good night. Wherever it is you guys are coming from, it's lovely, lovely to see you. And thanks for joining us. And just to get the show on the road, let's go and do a little bit of this. And then we're going to come back in because we've got loads to tell you. Loads and loads of those. See you in a second. Guys, a very, very good evening too. It's lovely, lovely to see you. You look so well. Yes, here we are, 23rd of May. Look, almost, almost halfway through the year. And you look good. You you really do. You look fantastic. Anyway, just to say to you guys, uh, lovely to see so many of you coming in already. We've got uh, Sherry Nichol says, good evening, everyone. Good evening to you. Uh, let us know, guys, where you're coming in from, what part of the world, north, west, south, east, wherever it is, let us know. And uh, we've also got, uh, uh, here's a producer, Deborah, she's come in saying hello. And uh, we've also got, ah, Mr. Gary Jones coming in. He is actually in the BBC tonight, so a big welcome to Gary Jones. There you are, sir. <laughs> Good morning, Thank you. Thank you so much to the BBC to watching. This is absolutely fabulous. And uh, if you need a reading at all, just, just let us know. And uh, we also got Russell Jewish says, good evening, Phil. Good evening there, Russell. We've also got Lisa Morgan. And we've got Eleni. And we've got, this is, oh, right. Okay, I love your name. Uh, Ruivi Ruve Reedy. Is that right? Ruve, what a great name. Okay, you sound like you're from somewhere else. Just let us know, guys, where you're coming in from. It would be great to see. We've got our oh, New Zealand. Oh, fantastic. Very good um, morning to you, I believe it is. Probably an early morning as well. And uh, Dawny, she says hello. And uh, she likes watching Crossroads. Uh, no, I don't think that. I think that's a question. Anyway, <laughs> she, she's coming in from Somerset. And Dominique is here as well as... Ah, here we go. We've got Sherry Sage from Newcastle. Newcastle, right up there. We've got Cheshire. And uh, we've got loads of other people coming in too. Okay, guys, what do I need to say to you tonight? Well, there's loads to tell you. In fact, um, shall we do a little bit of, ah, yes, this is what we guys need to do. You know this, but you know what we're going to do. We're going to introduce our three little dragons because what we need you to do is to share that show, especially if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, please do the same. And uh, please leave comments, tell people about it, whatever you like to do, but it'd be absolutely fantastic. We would really, really appreciate it. So come and meet our dragons. I love the back chat, uh, back chat channels that go on here. Gary says here, uh, Crossroads, are they still alive? Do you remember, Benny? I go see Miss Diane. Yes, I go see, and I'll do I can't do the other ones because, uh, anyway. But uh, dun, 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 dun. Do you remember that music? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, even the dogs out there just went, oh, I think there's, yes. And we've got Kaz Collins coming in. We've got Eleni, and uh, we've got everyone else coming in there too. Okay, Deborah has just put up here, Cafe Clairvoyance does not answer medical or legal questions. If you're contacted by a scammer, the scammers, scammers, uh, yes, uh, please block them. Cafe Clairvoyance does not solicit readings for, uh, for reading. Uh, we just need a colour and, and one question. Please have patience as Phil works down the list. I certainly do. And thank you. This is what we want to see, guys. Look, look, Kaz Collins says, share it. Well done, Kaz. Well done. They give you a... Yeah. Oh, even Dawny has said that uh, she's shared too. So we give you a hoot. There you go, a hoot. Now, um, as we go through the show tonight, what would I like to tell you? Okay, let's go. Let's go and do some famous dates in history. This day... 
you're, you're going to be amazed at this. You will really enjoy this, guys. So just when you're going to play this back and go, oh my God, I didn't realise that happened then. Are you ready? Are you ready? This day in 1430. Do you remember then? Mm, it's a few years back. Uh, Joan of Arc this day was captured in Collien in, in, France, in France and sold to the English. A couple of bob, I suppose. I don't know what the currency was then. Maybe, I don't think it was pounds, was it? Probably um, <laughs> shillings, a few shillings. Anyway, uh, Ian, this is an interesting one. Okay, um, 1568, the Netherlands declares independence from Spain. Did you even know that Spain, that the Netherlands were uh, under Spanish rule? I didn't even know that. I even live out here. Right, now here's the interesting one. Benjamin Franklin announces the invention of bifocals. Yes, isn't that interesting? Hey, without those, where would we be? Where would we be? <laughs> and, okay, and here's the other one. In 1788, South Carolina becomes the eighth state to ratify US Constitution. So there you go. See, you're going to write this down. You're going to go back and tell people just how intelligent you are for all this. And uh, media says she's coming in from Cyprus and uh, so on and so on. And I think, well, all of you guys, thank you so much. There's loads of you on here, so it's great to see it. And, uh, oh yeah, this day, this day, I believe it was, yes, here it is, it was 1996, Gary Jones was eating burgers. Yes, he was, he was eating burgers, yes. So don't forget, hearts and burgers throughout the show, guys. Don't forget, hearts and burgers. And uh, so we go, ah, well, Jessica, earlier on, when we did the pre-show, was good morning, now. Good afternoon. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Try back up. She's coming from. Okay. In the meantime, though, let's go and do a little bit of the stars and see what's going on, guys, because this is going to be some very interesting times that we've actually, oops, we've actually got come up in front for us. In fact, I'm just looking for my screen that has just completely disappeared that uh, has all the information. And uh, I'll find it in just a second. Uh, there it is. Good. Here we go. All right. Let's go and put this one up here. And uh, hope you should see it. Yes, there it is. Now, um, some of you may be writing and saying here, I'm a bit confused, wondering what's going on. Where is life going? Yes, well, Mercury retrograde went behind or in front of the sun, was completely, completely blotted out by the sun. When you get this, sometimes uh, you go within the depth of the soul to find something, to release something, say hello, go and do something different and bring out something amazing about yourself. Yeah? Um, we learn something, we find out something, especially when it's in Gemini. Gemini is the planet of communications. Um, yes, Gary Jones even says here, burgers, I might be vegan now. I oh, know I am, I still have vegan burgers. Well done, well done being vegan. <laughs> have, have a bike horn, there you go, there you go. And uh, oh, we got uh, people coming in, uh, this, here we got Shanira coming in, she's coming in from Puerto Rico. So we're lovely, lovely places people are coming from tonight. Thank you. And uh, right, also what else do you say? Yes, so this is part of the energy. The other energy that's coming up here is Mars. Mars. Mars is about to change sign. <laughs> Get the energy drive. Yes, about to change sign from Pisces, where in effect it's been behind the curtains. Yeah, it's been doing, Gary had understood this, he was saying it's all about, it's been doing the production stuff not the stuff that's on the front stage. So all the production stuff is where Mars has been, if you'd like to look at a metaphor, and Mars is like this. But now it's about to change sign and go into the powerhouse Aries. Yes, so you're suddenly going to find that this confusing energy about where am I going, what am I doing, it's almost like uh, everything starts to shift forwards. So uh, just get prepared, get prepared, life's going to start to... Um, invite you, encourage you to step forward, enjoy life, and uh, take in more initiative. It then meets up with Jupiter, and you're going to find probably tomorrow on the Cafe Clairvoyance page uh, on Instagram and on the website, we'll be writing about that for you guys to understand what it's all about, because it's quite detailed, but uh, basically here, just imagine big time fun, loads of energy going out there to magnify your life. That's a little bit about what this is like. So there you go. And so that should be fun. Also, we got loads of, um, we're really excited about the Cafe Clairvoyance magazine that should be coming up very, very soon. Uh, we'll be looking at that and we'll be um, um, telling you a little bit of snippets about stuff that's coming up very soon. 
Uh, the next one's actually coming up in July. In July. So we're looking forward to that. Here's the one there. You can still go to the website, caféclairvoyance.com. And uh, when you're actually on this is, um, uh, when you're actually on this here, I really say that uh, this is probably, um, when you go onto it, it goes onto what they call Hazine. And Hazine, just click at the top right, so it opens it up like a magazine. Especially if you've got a computer, you can actually put it on big screen then. On your phone, you can still do it. It's totally functional and uh, loads of stories in there, loads of articles, and the next one's got even more articles. So we really look forward to that and uh, cracking on there. And uh, also we're gonna say, if it's your birthday coming up. Happy birthday! Oh, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And we're also gonna go on and tell you about. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hello? Hello? Right? Right? What now? Oh, oh, okay then. This is a bit of a surprise. Okay. Oh, okay. All right then. I'll just let everyone know. My goodness, ladies and gentlemen, Helen Grady's here. Hey! <laughs> hey everyone! We were wicked. We were wicked. We just thought we'd do a little bit of a surprise and get you on here. Now, it looks like I'm super tall and you're very short. Because I'm up here and you're down. <laughs> hey! <that's> it. <laughs> it's just sometimes the angle of the camera there. It's brilliant. Okay, well, um, yes, we decided to uh, go and do this and just do a little bit of a teaser, bring Helen on, because she's a brilliant medium and we haven't seen her for a little while. She's uh, um, uh, um, She's got some time in her agenda to come onto the show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's like Gary Jones says, it's like knock knock. Yes, <laughs> problem is, thank you, Gary. Thank you, Gary. He's in the BBC, by the way. Thank you very much. Now, um, so we're going to go and do some live readings for you guys. We're going to take it from the top. We've got some pre readers which have already come through. We're going to go and look for you guys and uh, get you going. Now, just okay, uh, before I we get cracky here, because a lot of people who do know you, a lot of people don't know you. I think 90% of them probably do, but uh, just in case you don't, <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, I've even forgotten, so good. would you mind? <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it. Yeah, doubt it. So would you mind if you could uh, just tell us a little bit about what you do and how you work? Right. My name's Helen Grady. I'm nearly 63. I'm a retired registered nurse. I used to live in Spain, but I'm back in Wigness now. But I'm also a spiritual medium. Um, I work in churches and uh, spiritual centres across the northwest of England and even go to Buxton, Wrexham, places like that. So expanding more now. Uh, and of course, the, the Cathy Clairvoyant Show. Okay. Is that okay. it? Okay, that's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. It's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, right. Now, um, we're going to go with a very nice lady who's on the other side of the Mediterranean. She was the first one who came up and wrote in earlier on. Now, guys, here's what you could do. If you are not in this, then you need to do it. Get into the Cafe Clairvoyance group. Like the page, get in the group, join the group, and then if you're in the group and you request a reading beforehand, we'll do it. We'll do it so it's there pre show before we go. Okay? Alrighty, so here we go. So Midia's come in. She says, uh, all I have from Sunny Cyprus. And uh, I should put that up there a little bit. Yeah, it's just above your head. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> anyway, she writes in. She says, Turquoise, what do my guides want me to know? Now, now, as much as I look at these, I look at these more now than I do even before the show starts. So I don't get a chance sometimes to be able to um, see what's going on. But if I was to look at you, Midia, first of all, and what your guides need you to know. Um, first of all, I would like to talk, like, I would like to talk to a nan, a grandmother. And I would also like to talk to a um, one of the guides which are around you, I feel, is uh, almost in like a toga outfit, but probably Roman. Probably Roman. The thing around you at the moment is... Now, this is what I like to say. Stop doubting. Stop doubting yourself. Stop doubting. Stop overthinking. Stop doubting. Step forward. That's the first bit I get from guides. And actually, to get through so many people here tonight, I can see all you've got online. I'm going to quickly move you over to Helen. 
and uh, just see what she wants to say. But my first impression here is, oh, we've got a gentleman here as well, just saying that. He had a real problem with his neck. Oh my God, his neck was like hunched over. And uh, it almost get like the English equivalent of Bill or William, but what it is in Cypriot language, I don't know. Really hunched over, really difficult neck and back. And uh, he's just stepped through here. First of all, he wants to give you a round of applause. And the other thing he's saying here, he says, use the stepping stones now. Use the stepping stones. Go for it. Okay. Go on in. Go on in. Right. Uh, Phil, before I speak um, to media, can I just give off this message that I got? You know, I always, when I'm in the bath, I get something. Okay. I had a gentleman come forward. And I don't think it's his name, but he has the connection with the name Stan. He also was singing Tom Jones. So whether he had the connection with Wales, because he was singing um, with these hands, I will love and comfort you. He was also telling me that he also worked with his hands. He was a manual worker and that his bark was worse than his bite. So he was obviously a bit strict and people were a bit wary of him. But, you know, as they say, don't judge the book by the cover. And also the name Jean, which I feel it was shortened from a name of Jeanette. Okay. So I've just given that one off, okay, because it, it'd been mithering me here. Uh, okay. I've got to do that first, okay. It is interesting uh, when you get that, because you do have to say it, don't you? You have to say it or else it yeah. bugs you, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, it gets on your nerves and they won't leave you alone. No, no, no. That's, no. That's, now then, as I should connect with me here. Yeah. yeah. Right. I've got a gentleman coming through and he says he's a grandfather and he says grandfather from the mother's side of the family. What? Right, I'm going to say it how he said it because this is what he would be like. Why are you asking stupid questions? You know exactly what to do, but you have to have the confidence to step out that comfort zone and do it. You always were a little bit, not shy, but a bit aware of taking the step out the comfort zone well you must do it and you know when it's right because you'll feel the difference i also have a lady shouting out don't forget me don't forget me and i know that she's from uh, cyprus but this lady has a different accent um, than a greek one i would say more of a different dialect than the gentleman and they're always with her tell her they're always with her and that's it really yes I, I totally agree. Without being rude to media, not being rude to you at all. You know what to do. Go and do it. Go and do it. It's fantastic. Right. Okay. Next person we're going to down to is Ellery. This is her comment earlier on where she said, wow. Wow. <laughs> In fact, do you want a wow? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's just real me. Wow. Okay. She says, colour blue. She's stuck in a rut, but scared to go forwards. When will this pass? Now, um, it's interesting here because this is a little bit of the energy at the moment. In fact, I'm going to put the, because your white wall up there, I'm going to put that above me just there. That's probably better there. Um, yes, um, because of uh, what's actually um, a Mercury retrogrades, the plant energies at the moment, I'll make us feel a bit like this. But here's what I like to say. Only the first thing I get here, I get two gentlemen. One was a father and one was very close to him, but they were both very much together, whether this is like a brother, probably is. And I hear F in his name, F like, like Frank would start off a name. And uh, he's saying to me here, he says, you're looking at money, you're looking at money, and money is part of the problem that you're looking at, thinking this is the problem. Money is not the problem, he says. It's where you want to go, what you want to do, how you're going to plan your life in front of you. It's very easy to look at prob uh, to look at things and put those problems on your plate, thinking they are the worries, and it's not. They're telling me here that they are there for you and saying here, oh, there's new carpet, by the way. New car just pick up a new carpet. I haven't seen a carpet in years out here. They, they don't have them, there's tiles. Anyway, but anyway, back to you. But, but uh, just say here, I see a carpet, and, also, and he may have been actually something to work with carpets because he's quite industrial. I'm just hearing one of them may have had something to do with cooking, a lot to do with cooking as a chef or restaurateur. And, uh, but yes, but then will this time pass? It will pass the moment you start thinking ahead. That's what I like to say. Over to you, over to you, Helen. What would you like to say? Right, Eleni, uh, I've got a lady here who says she's your mother. 
and she come across saying stuck stuck she doesn't know what stuck is i thought oh so i said to her are you a bit bossy she said i was not bossy i was firm not bossy but they listened to everything that i've said she's also telling me that eleni's friend the lady with the breast cancer that passed is brought her through but it was only a quick show your face now out because this little lady her mother is taking control of the situation she's making me laugh because she keeps emphasizing stop worrying stop worrying you're not a tree you can move so the yeah. message is in yeah. that with that i also have a gentleman coming through and the lady saying it's a brother now i'm not quite sure if it's eleni's brother or if it's yeah. the lady's brother and she's just saying brother in and she's letting him come in and he's showing me bolts on the water eleni will understand this and so he's, he's telling me that things are ready things are ready it's just putting these things into action eleni will understand what it means um I agree. And that's it. And I had the name Gregory, or a name that sounded like Gregory. Okay. Right then. Thank Fantastic. you. But you said we have to do a quick one, so yeah, I have yeah, to, yeah. to be yeah, honest with you, Ian, and you felt like we've not finished, we've not finished. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Right. Let's go down to Jessica Kane. She wrote in. She said she's all the way over in the States. Thank you very much, Joyce. I gather you've just turned afternoon for you. And uh, you put in green general reading, please. Jessica, what I'd like to say to you, first of all, I want to laugh. I want to laugh because I get so much happiness. I get a birthday coming up very, very soon. They're, they're telling me about celebrations of birthdays. They're also telling me about someone who used to used to make barrels. Now, barrels could have been also for the like the wines, the beers, the whiskies. And uh, I'm hearing loads of celebrations here. They're telling me here that they want, they keep saying here, how much fun, how much fun. This is about the news of energy coming up in front for you jessica where i think you're going to have such an enjoyable time and i feel this is going to be good there's a younger man here as well a very young man he's almost connecting like a brother and he passed he tells me here and says he's okay and would you understand that you sense a younger man around you is connected to you like a brother but this guy wanders uh, connects with you wanders around with you and uh, they're, they're saying to me here, Jessica, just, just to say to you, um, it's funny what I've got to say here, but don't organise too much because there's a lot of other organisational stuff that's going to come in that you're not organising. If you organise too much, it blocks the other stuff that's going to start happening. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, over to you. Over to you, Mrs. But uh, apparently the volume's low. I've just been told there's a few people... Kev said I'm saying that the volume's low. Okay. Thanks for Kev. <laughs> okay, I just turned the volume up. How is that? Is that a little bit better? It's all right with I can hear you, but there's a yes. couple of people. Oh, okay, okay. So what's happened? Ah, hang on a minute, then I'll also adjust this. Thank you for that. <laughs> yes. Oops, sorry yeah, with my little mic. Yeah, just put that up. Yes. So, hopefully that's gonna be better today. I've just altered both. I altered it on the yeah. on the um uh, both of them here. Great. Okay. Alrighty. So uh, that was, that's going to have a look and uh, work our way down the list and just see who's coming, coming through. Uh, yeah, we've so got yeah. the first one. Uh, okay. Here we go to Dawny Daisley. Oh. Dawny Daisley here. She says here that she's, I feel like my life is at crossroads, which is why I was saying about crossroads and uh, any help would be appreciated. Yellow color. First thing I get you Dawny is don't talk to everybody else too much. First thing I get you is other people will confuse you, complicate things, and make you feel like everything is uh, a bit too frantic. And I also get a, I'd also like to say around right here, there's a gentleman on the other side. I'm hearing a name, Scott, and I'm hearing a uh, gentleman who's on your father's side of your family, but uh, I'm just trying to get a link where he was. He's, uh, he's saying to me here, he says, you, you don't have to think so cold now. You know, sometimes when the, the winter comes to an end, it gets spring, it's almost like, hey, no, come on, things could warm up a little bit. He wants to give warmth to you. He says here, life is going to start turning for you and get a bit warmer. He's really happy by this. And also he says here, this is really interesting, a lot of assumptions, this is interesting, a lot of assumptions are going to be proved wrong. Just need to say it to you. So in other words here, I think all the things you used to worry about are not going to be there. 
let's let's move it over. Okay. Oh, sorry, just take you off there, but uh, let's go for you just here. And there you go. Yes. So, right. colour yellow. Feel like I'm on crossroads. Well, I know that this lady's name is Daisley, but I've got a couple, a man and a lady, who have come forward and they're singing Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. So. I thought they did a couple because they've come in together and I thought, oh, that's lovely, an old time couple. And the, it was the gentleman that spoke and he said, no, he said, you need to give the correct answer. He's saying that yellow is for the upliftment and that which this lady needs at this moment in time. And if this couple were here now, she this lady would go and ask them for advice. You know, when they say that old and knowing and experience counts. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, as I've said that to you now, the gentleman has let the lady come through and the lady's carrying a baby. Oh, and no. she's saying, remember the baby is here and this couple have got the baby that must belong to Dawn or in yeah. her family. Um, I'm good. also being told the month of March is very significant and September and they'll be at the party, apparently. They'll be at the party. Lovely. That's lovely news. Thank That's you. lovely news. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Dolly, I hope you can take all that. That's lovely. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, thank you much for sharing the show and keeping things uh, going there. Let's go and have a little look down the end. Uh, we've got Dominique Kujawinski. And uh, Kujawinski. Kujawinski. Dominique Kujawinski. It's Marishka's sister. Um, I know Dominique, so I'm not going to give her a message because I know her very closely. If that's for you, right that's for you, you, Dominique, and that's also to your sister as well. Right, what yeah. I need to tell you here, the first thing I need to say to you here is I get a gentleman who's making an impression upon me and a lady, they're both stepping forward to me, and uh, the gentleman especially wore glasses, and uh, this is, uh, yeah, General Reed, so the yellow colour, what do I need to tune in here? He's telling me here to say to you, A, watch throats, watch throats, watch illnesses around throats, He's, what is it we're not saying? What is it we need to say? And he's also what, liking to connect with you and say that um, uh, he wants to, he wants to say it'll be about further north, further north, going up towards Newcastle, going further north, a connection coming up there. And he would also like to say to me here, he says, he's sending loads of love. He wants the healing to start happening now. He wants people starting to engage get closer together. And he says here, it's interesting, he says, um, you've got plenty of time, he says here. Don't rush anything. He wants to give you love and plenty of time. And the lady who steps forward with her, with him, uh, I believe is also his partner, is saying to be here that um, she's she wants to talk about a shop that was on a corner. She wants to talk about a shop and she wants to talk about uh, um, how there was family has changed but don't think we've got to stay in the old it's about moving forwards and going into the new i get a feeling of being a little bit liberated like that so hopefully that helps out you thank you very much okay right now uh yes just we go on to the next one here i just want to do this actually um a very very nice lady called mercy blessings contacted me um just to tell the story very very quickly she contacted me last week she said dear hi phil um, I'm looking for a cleaning job. I knew her very, very lightly, but no details about her, really. I said, okay. I said, um, well, I, I don't know where to help. Maybe there's a job centre around here. I said, where are you? She said, Uganda. And I said, well, how are you going to get over here? Hey, over here, she said, I she said, I am desperate, desperate for a job. And I said to her, I said, but you've got other talents, though, haven't you? What is it about the singing? She said, oh, yes, I sing. But what I need to do, I need a cleaning job to fund my singing to get myself noticed because I can't get out of Uganda, not under the present circumstance because there's not enough money to be paid in jobs there. So I said to her, come on, send us a song. Send us a song. And I was absolutely gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. This lady's voice is absolutely un unbelievable. If there are any people out there who are producers... Um, like this lady's voice, please get in contact with us. We'll pass you over to Mercy Blessings. She is awesome. Just listen to this.
this lady here is just amazing. She created the song from scratch. She did all the music, she did all the lyrics, and uh, started out there. But just wanted to play that because what a gift this lady's got. And she's absolutely stuck. And yet we're in countries where we could reach out to people and um, with gifts or talents that we've got. And maybe they can help us get where we're going. But uh, this lady here is in a very difficult position. So um, anybody out there wants to help this lady, you give us a shout because we're, we're eager to help her. She is so, so nice. Okay. God, dear. That was lovely to hear that. And uh, lovely voice you guys, isn't it, isn't it, Ellen? Bit like myself. Bit like you're a singer too, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you're a loud singer though, a loud one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, let's move down the line here. We've got uh, Lisa Morgan coming here and said, uh, can I have a reading please? Colour blue, any message from my Nan? Well, we'll try and get Nan, but we can't guarantee Nan. We just get who comes through. So, but we'll give this a little go. Okay, and uh, Lisa, the first thing I'd like to say here as I'm communicating with you is um, would you understand this is a particularly sensitive time, um, not just because of the times we're in, but also about people passing. And would you understand here too if I said to you that your nan always wanted you to learn? She wanted you to learn. In fact, I've just got a feeling I've got her coming through. She wanted you to learn and she also wanted you to um, take up the dancing or the tapping on your feet, whether it's tap dancing or dancing. And she was, uh, as I pick up her energy too, she also wants to connect with you and say, now it's interesting you've got the N, N here, because there is a lady over there whose name starts with N, like Nancy, for example. And uh, I'm hearing her, and I've also got, um, there are loads of people coming over, and one particular lady called Joanne, who is not, in, I don't think related in your family, but she actually passed, I feel, quite young, and she was very unwell. Very well, but she wants to come through as well, and she just says, yeah, I'm okay. And she just, her message to you is, stop being blue. Stop being blue. It's interesting. Although you've got the colour blue, stop being blue. Yes. They want you to uplift, lift up a little bit. Go on, over to, over to you, missus. Right. Um, as Lisa asked then, it was a gentleman that stepped forward to me. Yeah. And first of all, as he brought, I, I only seen his legs, and he had trousers on that the creases were pressed as though he was, you know, like when you have to in the army and you have to have creases yes. perfect. Well, he had perfect creases in his trousers. And then he shouted, Alice, Alice. But nobody came. And I thought, well, is he bringing a lady called Alice through? But he connects with the name of Alice. Um, he said to me that Lisa, even like his trousers were pressed, he said he knows that at the moment, it's pressing times for you, pressing times, he said. But blue is a healing colour. And, of course, blue is for the throat chakra. So I think you need to start talking a little bit more of whatever the situation of the pressing times is around you. And as I've said that then, the gentleman stepped aside and I do have a lady coming through now. And she's bustling in, she's bustling in. She said I might be, she called herself grandmother, but she was more like a mother to you because at first I thought, oh, is she from a mother's side of the family? No, I was like a mother, she said. And I've got the smell of cakes and things and that. And she talks about two babies in the spirit world. At first I thought she was showing me twins, but she showed me two different ones. And she said that, this is Lisa needs mothering at this time, whatever it is that's going on, needs mothering. I have John shouted from the spirit world. I have Brian and I have Ken as well shouted for you. Hmm. Right. I just said, well, give me something nice now for Lisa. And she told me that Lisa is not materialistic, so I don't need to give her any materialism. Oh, that's nice. Dick thing. That's nice. I'll just give her lots of love, lots of love, because this is what she feels she's missing out on. But she isn't. It's just that she's looking at other things rather than what's within <laughs> and what you have already. And then she lovely. steps away. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's fantastic. Oh, brilliant. I love the messages. Love your messages. Like they're, they're beautiful. Okay. Um, Ruve Reedy, Ruve Reedy, and I believe you're coming in from um, New Zealand uh, for you this this morning. Very, very nice to connect with you. Gold, I love the colour gold. Okay, um, we don't know what the question is, but I'm just going to go with whatever we, ever we uh, pick up here. I've got a gentleman who wants to stand beside you. My God, he's so strong. This man here, boom, by the side of me. 
also a spirit guide uh, is joining as well. And would you understand here that you're either the medium, or you're the psychic, but you're doing something in this. You're doing something quite strong because of the way they're connecting with you. And they're also saying to me here, you give empathy to others and you're very good at being able to separate between your own feelings and other people's feelings. That's a real professional. And they're saying to me here too that they are, uh, you're, you're, yes, you're guiding people a lot at the moment. Um, you're looking to move house and I feel that uh, it'll take a little while, but get through to about August and the opportunities that you could do around August is going to look, look good for you. And uh, they would also like to say to be here, there are quite a few of them over there in the spirit world. And a gentleman who used to make furniture, gentleman used to make furniture, yes. So, uh, sorry, Kev just fell down the stairs. <laughs> I was all right. <laughs> oh, yes, he's back chatting me. I heard a thundering noise and I've just seen him come down. Only happens on a live show, does it? I couldn't hear it here. Oh, my God, it's sorry. hilarious. <laughs> I wonder what you were doing. Anyway, sorry, where are we? So, that's what I uh, pick up here. And over to you, Helen. Right, I'm sorry about that, that one. That's good. It was funny. I thought it was funny. Um, oh, dear. It, very. Right. I have a young lady coming through here now, and she tells me that um, she's your friend. And she's saying that even though the crossing over or passing over, whichever you wish to say, was difficult, difficult, she's okay now. She's okay. Circumstances around the passing were out of her control, I'm being told. But she wants to let Ruevi, is it a Ruve? Yeah, uh, Ruve, yeah. That everything is okay. Now, for me, gold is quite a high colour. Yeah. Um, and I feel that this lady is not using her own gifts. She is gifted, very gifted. She's not yeah. using her own gifts. And this lady and said, well, I'm over here now, so... I will connect and I will help you. Yeah. But she needs to use her gifts. Don't be not frightened because the lady's not frightened, but don't be daft. You know you can do it. You, you've been doing it for a while. Just step forward now. It's your turn. And um, your friend here. Now, she just, I don't know if it's a name or a month. May is significant with this lady that's passed. I feel it's a month and not a name. Um, but she tells me that John, and I have to say John, because I thought, well, is it the name? Yes, John. But she didn't say it in an English accent, but it was John. Brilliant. And thank you for the candles. Oh, that's lovely. Prayer. That's lovely. That's lovely. The other thing I'd just like to say, Ravi, is uh, I've got a spirit guide with you. He's a monster of a man. But he's powerful with love for you. So if ever you start working in this business properly, well, I say properly, I think you already are, but I think here, just to get yourself going more, you'll do exceptionally well. So, absolutely lovely. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Kaz Collins comes in. She says, mini reading, please. Colour red. Will the trip go to plan? Will the trip go to plan? I'm trying to find a place to put the colours in here where you can still see it. That's probably the best place on my blue shirt. Anyway, uh, I love your uh, you love your hair there, Kaz. It look, looks amazing. And uh, now, it's interesting, I see Kaz. But would you understand the name Caroline? I've got a lady by the name Caroline who wishes to come over. And she's uh, she's saying to me here, she says here, I get the feeling the trips are going to go well for you. But you're making several trips, she says here. And I'll also pick up here for all the doubts, all the worries, all the woes and all the things you think are going wrong. No, no one. No, no one. Uh, they want to let you know they're okay and they're supporting you. But this lady I'm talking, this, this lady I'm talking to here is this lady Caroline. I feel with her, she's saying here, she says that um, uh, your life is different to other people's. Just live it differently. Live it the way you want to. It's not down to the criticism of others. It's down to you. Take care. And I'll pass you over to her. Right. As I, I was looking at the colour red and I, I was thinking, come on, somebody come through, will you? And then a lady came through and she told me that she was um, Kazzy's auntie. Right. And she said that red is a very powerful colour. People say danger and all this, but no, it's powerful. And Kaz is a powerful person. Um, the energy from red is lovely, depending on how the individual 
perceives it. And this lady, your auntie Kaz, she said, I want to, I want to say, oh, you're a great aunt, God. She said, no, I'm the aunt. So the number one auntie she's telling <laughs> that she is. And she's giving me a set of rosary beads. And she's playing at first, are they woolly beads? I should know they're rosary beads. And she's rubbing them in her hands and that. And as she's doing this, she's like saying she wants to put them over Cassie's neck and, you know, lay them there. And I said, why are you doing that? She said, because it will bring her inner peace. Oh, lovely. At this moment in yes. time, I don't know why Cass needs inner peace. Okay. Um, what was the question? Will the trip, well, the trip go to oh, well. plan? Yeah. People, I've been told people can plan things, but the trip will only go as it's meant to be. <laughs> That's a great one. Well, whatever that means. And this is obviously the way this lady, her personality would put things. You can say you've planned something, but it can go different. I get a feeling that uh, you've got several plans coming up. And I got a feeling you're going to do quite well there. I love love that. And I agree, red is a power colour. It's not necessarily an angry colour or a danger colour. It can be used as power if it's in the, in the right way. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. Okay, uh, Deborah says here, Cafe Clairvoyance magazine is available on our website, www.cafeclairvoyance.com. Okay, and let's move on down the line and see where we're going. We've got uh, loads of people coming in here. Uh, sharing is caring. Thank you for sharing the show. Uh, Alexandra is there saying hi Phil, lovely to see you. And uh, uh, right, who's next? Ah, Lisa. Let's go to Lisa. She says, uh, "The color turquoise, general reading, please, Phil." Right. Okay. Now the color. Oh, I get this very, very strong, you Lisa. And uh, just be careful. We don't get stuck into the system of the washing machine, where we go round and round and round, where we're not doing anything, but we're going round. Uh, Thoughts are going round and round and round, but our lives are not moving or doing something forwards. Would you understand, Lisa, if I say to you, come on now, we've got to go and make a plan to go forwards. Turquoise is very spiritual. We're very up there, but we also need grounding down here. And I've heard Trevor and I've heard Patrick. Trevor and Patrick, two names for gentlemen on the other side here, which wish to come through. And uh, one gentleman here, very black hair, very black hair, very, um, he's got a screwdriver in his hand, but he was a very meticulous character, uh, very finesse in the way he used to work. He's here. He's saying to you, he says here, don't make excuses about other people. Don't make excuses for them. It's about you um, stamping your ground and making your life go forwards. But uh, you're coming up to that point. I think you're just about to go right. Good on you. Over to you. Over to you there, Lady Grady. Right. The colour turquoise first for me is like the sea. It can either be wild, wet and dangerous or it can be calm and allow things to flow. And I feel it's a bit of both for Lisa. And as I said that, I seen a young boy on the wall, but he was actually leaning on his forearms like that and he was reading a, as though a book turning the pages. And he said to me that he connects with Lisa and that he now is a new chapter in your life. And he's turning the pages because he watches you all the time. I can't give you an age because he's laid down and he's not telling me. He's just looking at me. And I feel that he was quite studious, but he was only a young lad, if you understand what I mean. Not a teenage teenager. He wants to tell me that Lisa will know his parents and please tell them that he's been through. Oh, because no. I feel his parents no. would have loved to have him say something to him, but he's passing a message through Lisa. Beautiful. Thank no, you very I've just asked what, why he's showing me. I said, well, what do you want to give me for her? He said, it's not for her, it's for me. And it, you know, a toy airplane just went past. Ah, a journey so perhaps. You can share it with him, Lisa. Whatever that means, if time is flying past. That's what mm. I would think. Fantastic, fantastic. Okay, let's go move on by. Let's go see Sarah Katrina. Can I have a me reading, please? Colour rose gold. Any messages from Spirit? Okay, now, I know Sarah Katrina quite well. So on this particular occasion, I'm going to allow you to step in on this one and uh, see what you could pick okay. up, Sarah Katrina. Okay, rose gold. Right. Images and spirit there. Thank you. Right, I've had to take my glasses off for this one. Okay. Right. 
I can see two women on the wall here. And I said, who are you? Who are you? But they look the same. So they're obviously sisters, but they look the same. I thought, are you twins or are you separate? They're the same. So they're obviously, I would have said, twins. And they stood there and one is more louder than the other one, or she'd have said a bit more bossy because she's come forward and she tells me that stop looking through rose tinted glasses. It's time now that you're, right, I'll tell you as she's telling me, stop whimpering, straighten your back and get on with life. And the other lady's saying, shh, 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 don't be, don't be too rough with her, don't be too rough with her. But she said, no, she's got to know where it's coming from. And then the next thing, there's a gentleman that comes in that connects with them. And I feel it's a brotherly link for these women. And he's going, orly, oh, itty, orly, 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 orly. You know, like you would on the Alps. I saw a yodeling yeah. across the <laughs> like And he's making me laugh. Yeah. And he's telling me, remember back in time. Remember the, the happy that times in life and not the ones that are consistently in here. Look back at your family life that you had. And them times will come again when you meet the right person. Ah, I agree. And then they just step back. And then I said, what, what's that? And you know what? <laughs> I thought, is it a dog's bone or something? That, but it looks like, you know, a giant taking the Michael apple that they've bit all the apple and left the apple core and just plonked it for them. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> I try to work out that one. I'll, I don't know. Anyway, right. Okay. Uh, oh, Gabby's going uh, coloured gold tonight. Joe Gardner says, can I have a general reading? Uh, coloured gold, please. I'll do very quick on this because I know Joe. She's been on the show frequently and I'll let you do, Joe. So, but there'll be okay. others here I don't know, which is which is good. Okay. Uh, Joe, can I do the gold coloured reading, please? What I would like to say to you, Joe, is I want to give you a pat on the back. A pat on the back because people are saying thank you to you. People are really appreciating what you're doing for them. So great stuff. Whatever it is you're doing, I'm just hearing here. I'm actually hearing this from a grandmother. And I literally is saying, Nan. And uh, yes, I'm trying to say that I read for you a lot, but I don't pick up this lady has actually come through for the way she has. But uh, yes, she's just patting your back saying, thank you very much for all the love you're giving people. And it's going to cheer up your days. Cheer up your days. So over to you. Right. When you mentioned Joe's name, I had a male energy coming through and, he went, and I got Diana Ross singing, stop in the name of love. And he was <laughs> dancing around like, you know, so this was his personality. He would love to be like this. He said it was just a shame and unfortunate that he had to go, but it was his time. And I have to impress this on Joe. He's making me feel as though around here, you know, like your abdomen was swelling and it was pressure on him. And in the end, there was no more that they could do for him. Um, but you've got to know that it, it, twinkle toes, I have to say, just tell her twinkle toes and she'll know who it is. He's then making me feel very throaty as though. <coughs> and I thought, is that somebody else coming through? And I feel as though this gentleman had not a dual personality. I don't mean he was a bit of a nutter at anything in the right road, but there was two sides to him. And he said, he should, she, oh, and he wants to get old you and hug you and love you and give you a big kiss. And he's talking about red lipstick. I know she's talking about gold, but he's talking about red, the colour red and red lipstick. I said, <laughs> why is that what you're giving it for a go? He said, no, that's for me. Ah! Oh, oh, it's very nice. <laughs> very, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, uh, Gary Jones says it was like knock, knock when we were doing it earlier. And uh, I think it was Ellie says when the phone rang, she thought it was Bond. Actually, Bond isn't here tonight. He says he's out doing a barbecue uh, because he has a license to grill. It gets worse. Oh, God, you get worse. <laughs> Right, okay, uh, okay, let's let us see down here. I haven't got anything from you. Aline, Aline Fido, I haven't got any details there, but she just says here, 
Uh, no, wrong one. I'll just pick yourself up. <laughs> this I leave it though. Sorry. Uh, hello, lovely. Hello, lovely. New here. Would love a reading, please. Are you a very nice lady indeed? And uh, yes, yeah, says you're a psychic medium as well. Aline, okay, well, we'll give you. You're probably going to give us. <laughs> <laughs> Aline, uh, first of all, I'd like to say to you here, I'd like to say two ladies who are with you. One sits on your left, the other one sits above you. And uh, you've also got the healing ability around you, and you've changed the way you've worked now. You change your work differently. And uh, would you understand you're getting a little bit more confident to not just work one-to-one, -one, but actually stand up more, work with more people on like a public way, perhaps, and uh, connecting that way. So it looks uh, pretty good that side there. I'd also like to say to you here, there's, um, uh, right, okay, there is a little boy around you somewhere. There's a, yeah, in fact, there is a little boy. I'm hearing a name that begins with A. And a little boy who connects with you for spirit world. And he runs around on a tractor and a little plastic tractor. And he's around you. He watches you. He's happy. And uh, they are saying to me here that um, you're going to, you've got to take a break at something. You've got to have a bit of a, a breath, they're telling me here. Just take this breath in. Because what's going to happen is I feel you're going to open up to new opportunities. But you need to have a break first. It's like just, otherwise it's a bit overwhelming. Okay. Over to you. Over to you. Over to you, Mrs. Right. Um, as you were talking then, Phil, I had a lady uh, shout out, just say Margaret's here. And then with Margaret then, I had the name Patrick. And this gentleman who said his name was Patrick came cl quite close to me and whispered in my ear. And he said that this lady has heard him speaking and that... Um, at first, I know you said she does uh, medium mystery work, but as she knows, mediums, we're all right for doing it for everyone else, but we're a bit far back when it's ourselves. Now, he's telling me that, yes, it was him, and that um, you mustn't ponder on a situation. Uh, right, I have Jack. I also have John. I know Jack is for John, but they're two separate names. I have Frank and I have Teresa shouted. And now I've got a ring of flowers, like daisies. You know, little daisies on a lawn. And they've shrunk it, but it seems to have got deeper. And I have to put this on this lady's head. Is it Aileen or Eileen? Uh, uh, Aileen, and, yes. Uh, yeah, and that she just needs to be a little bit more tranquil. Because this is the energy that they're sending out. You need to be a bit more tranquil. Stop taking on other people's problems because you're taking them to heart and you shouldn't. And all of a sudden, the gentleman thumped his hand on the table and said, listen to what's been said to you, girl. Listen. Fine. I thought, oh, well, it did. wasn't in a nasty way. It was a nice way. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Brilliant. So I hope you take it early. Lovely, lovely to meet you. Thank you very much for joining us. And... Uh, Russell Jewess is here. He says, Grey Brown, general reading, please, if possible. I like the Grey Brown. Never had that one before. Mm. And uh, right, okay, I've got a house. I've got a house. I've got to look at uh, uh, time and I've got to look at plans. Uh, what's your plans? How are you going to manage it or how are you going to do it? Or where is it all going to fit in with you in some respects? How is it all going to work? And uh, they're telling me here just to say to you that... Um, you're, you've got a, someone you're going to work with or someone saying you're going to work with, but they're not coming up to the up to scratch with you. You may have to look at plan B. That's the message. And it's interesting here. I get that from the spirit, but I get that from direct message comes through. And so just be, but you've also got, there's, a, there's two blocks of money, two blocks of money, but you can't touch them yet. You can't work with these yet, but you're going to, it's not just yet. I'll pass you over to Lady Grady. <laughs> well, then, as you were talking to, is it Russell? Yes. Um, a lady came forward and she said, to, that's my boy. That's my boy. So, and also the colour grey and brown. Of, Russell is obviously a very down-to-earth man. The head's the brown colour. And a feel that he likes to work with the earth or he used to do something with the earth um, because I'm feeling soil in my hands. Russell is quite astute as in 
it's not black and white it is there are gray areas but i feel that he needs to get away from looking at gray areas all the time sometimes you do have to have black or white situations aren't always as he seems to think gray now saying that i've got a brass band playing now you know like an army band with a big drum boom 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 and that's all i can hear now boom 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 something somebody's telling him to take note and listen to what's being said and and, the, and then there's a man with a big stomach with a drum and a tash but a little you know like you'd see lola nardi yeah and yes. he had that little tash and he's laughing as he's banging this drum going past saying you know good news good news is coming good news is coming uh, stop worrying it's on its way yeah and he's just going past and laughing and i can just see this chubby face with this mustache <laughs> Oh, brilliant. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds good there. I, I love all the, the spirit energies you get through. It's brilliant. Right. Okay. Uh, where are we going now? We're going to Presh Pandy. Presh Pandy. What a great name. Uh, can I get a message, please? Yes. I tell you what, we've got, uh, we're going to rush through a couple of people here. I tell you what, I'll do one, you do one, I'll do one, you do one. How's that? Okay. All right. Uh, we've got about three minutes here. So, uh, Presh, what do I need to say to you? I get the feeling here, um, don't sit back and be number two, be number one. You've got a decision to make up in front of you where I think you've got to take the lead on something, uh, when it's a work or a commitment around you. But don't give power to other people. I think you need this for yourself. And uh, we've then got, uh, let's go to, I'll let you do this one for Alexandra. Alexandra says, I'm a subscriber finally. Color cobalt blue. Do you see more children? Uh, we won't answer that. We won't answer that. Will things get wow. more stable as us? We can't answer that and show like this. But uh, we can do other things. Far away. Right. Well, blue is a lovely color. And cobalt blue, I feel, is like a woof a flash, a fire. And I feel that there's been a situation around Alexander where things have been a flash in the pan. Um, you need to think before you say things. This can get you in trouble, I'm being told. <laughs> and as I've told you that, I now have a man and a lady coming through together. They're not your family, although they do have links with your family. And they're saying that you've always been like that. A flash in the pan, boom, boom, boom. You need to buckle down and head in the right direction. And I said, well, that's not very nice. They said, well, this is how it has to be because this person is a bit like that and she, they would, she would only understand it like that. I think Alex would understand that, yes. Okay, uh, Ashley Hardy's come through. Can I have a reading, please? Colour blue in general. Blue. Blue, I like the colour blue with you. It's grounding you. It's healing you. It's put you into good thoughts, deep thought, healing thought, and also a pick up with you. Um, yes, I pick up the spiritual activity with you. And in fact, you could be the medium yourself. And I also pick up here that uh, it comes around September time that a lot of this energy changes for you and for the better. And, uh, but even so though, I feel that um, you're actually gonna have to power yourself a little bit more, just a little bit more. And on that note, guys, we've come to the end. I'm sorry, the whole hour is gone. But Helen, what can I say? Thank you very, very much for joining us. There's loads of people here who want to read this, but we'd have gone on for hours. And uh, right, okay, uh, yes, Gary Jones is <laughs> He's, he's puddled. He's, oh, yeah, he's going on and on and on and on and on. It's, it's really funny where I, I just see his comments there. Anyway, um, yes. But anyway. Um, <laughs> well, thank, thank, yeah, thank you so, so much for joining us. It's lovely to see you. I'm sorry about the volume going up and down. I have to look into the studio stuff and see what's going on there. But uh, Thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. And you never know what we're going to do on these shows, whether it's going to be um, someone is coming or someone isn't, or something's going to happen, something isn't. We just like to do that. It's all part of the mystery. <laughs> Yes. And uh, give our love to everybody up there in Wigness and all your I friends. Will. And say hello to Kevin for us and uh, see you guys very, very soon, I'm sure. And uh, in the meantime, now, as we play out, why don't we play out Mercy Blessing song again? And just a big thank you to her for sending it in. Thank you to you guys watching us. Um, don't forget, you can also connect with us on Mondays, Mondays on Clubhouse, 10.35 a.m., 9.35 in the U.K., uh, which is for um, your stars, your Monday stars for the week. 
Uh, we're also Wednesday evenings, 8 p.m., 7 p.m. UK on Clubhouse as well. And uh, look forward to seeing you then. You've also got the Catholic Care Voice magazine. Join the group. All the information is there that comes up with no matter what we're doing. So if you get lost for timetables, just join the Catholic Care Voice group. It's all there. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been absolutely fabulous. And now we're going to play out with Mercy. And Mercy, thank you for sending this. And we wish you every success. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh,